General put forth, and he found absolutely no fraud, accounting fraud of any kind. Uh, this is a highly respected man. I don't know him, but he's a expert witness, and he found no fraud whatsoever. He found no accounting fraud whatsoever. And like everyone else, he said, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? This is a political witch hunt. This is meant to influence an election. This also comes from the White House. This is not just a state matter, because the White House is uh, controlling district attorneys. In fact, in the district attorney's office, they put one of their top people, DOJ put one of their top people right under the attorney general, put him into the district attorney's office, also put a man into the state attorney general's office, Leticia James' office. Happened to be the same man. This is coming right from the White House. This is a disgraceful situation. The country's never seen anything like it. But this expert witness, highly respected by everybody, with a resume that few people have ever seen before, said there was no fraud, there was no accounting fraud, there was nothing. And this is what we're doing here while people are being murdered right outside on the sidewalks and the streets of New York, while people are experiencing horrible, violent crime at levels that nobody's ever seen in this city before. This is what the Attorney General is spending all the time on. So just to put it, uh, finally, he's going to continue to testify, but I don't imagine he's going to be changing his uh, basic statement. His finding is that there was no accounting fraud whatsoever. The statements that we put in were very conservative. They were the opposite of what they said. The accounting fraud and the fraud was on behalf of the judge and the attorney general who took assets and made them numbers that were fraudulent. As an example, Mar-a-Lago. As an example, Doral in Miami. As an example, Forty Wall Street and others, where they cut the values to a level that nobody's even imagined. You take a look at Doral and look at the numbers that we're talking about for Doral. But the most obvious of all, because of the fact that people know it, is when you value a place like Mar-a-Lago at $18 million, when it's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times that amount. We had an expert witness in the other day. He's the biggest broker in the country for luxury properties. I guess he's the ultimate expert, actually. What does that mean? And he valued Mar-a-Lago at over a billion dollars. And the judge valued it at 18 million. The judge doesn't know the value of Mar-a-Lago. And the attorney general is the one that convinced the judge to say that. Uh, it's a fraud. The whole case is a fraud. What they've done is they've weaponized justice. And this is coming from the White House. What is happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we've got it all coming out against the rogue attorney general in New York, Letitia James. We've got Trump now accusing her of fraud, guys. We know her for bringing about the, the civil fraud lawsuit against Trump and, you know, seeking to try to tear this man down. She's been holding protests or rallies. Take Trump down. Take Trump down is what they chant at all of her rallies. And then she says that her, you know, her um, civil fraud lawsuit is not politically motivated. She does not have any political bias against Trump. She just wants to, you know, fulfill her obligations to the law, to Americans. But it seems like this is politically motivated, guys. She is persecuting Trump. And now her day has finally come, guys. I'm excited to get into this one. So we're going to jump straight into it. And I'll get my thoughts on the back end of the video, guys. So definitely stick around until the end. So you guys get my thoughts and opinions on the back end, yo. But let's get straight into it, guys. Before we even do that, though, make sure you guys hit that like button, guys. It does not cost so one thing. Hit that like button for your boy. Also, hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. Let's get into it, y'all. Okay, Trump comes out of his court case in New York today accusing Letitia James of fraud, saying she committed fraud. I think she did, too. Attorney General committed fraud, and you just saw it right up there. She's a fraud. This whole case is a fraud. It's election interference. It's keeping me here instead of Iowa and New Hampshire. You just saw it. The Attorney General's a fraud. She committed fraud. Come on, you guys. 
And he left the press corps in a smoldering ruin. But I'll, I'll explain to you why he said that. This is based on one witness that came out and just demolished Letitia James. Uh, her whole case just fell apart today. But first, welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where all the happy patriots are. I hope you'll join us by subscribing. We want you on the team. Here we go. CNN former President Donald Trump was in court for his New York civil fraud trial on Thursday, where an accounting expert sought to bolster the defense argument that the company valuations are a highly subjective process. Here's the witness. Quote, my main finding is that there is no evidence whatsoever for any accounting fraud. Unquote. Bartov testified. Quote, on another end, my analysis shows that the statements of the financial conditions were not materially mistaken. So here's Ooh. Judge Angeron, the uh, Letitia James's little toady judge. Quote, so in your expert opinion, the AG's claims have no merit. The Attorney General Letitia James has no merit. Quote, Angeron asked, quote, that is absolutely my opinion. Absolutely, Bartoff said. She just got thrown under the bus, even by the judge. Trump can nail her for fraud. Also on Thursday, a New York appeals court agreed to stop the cancellation of Trump's business certificates until after the civil fraud trial and any appeals are completed. It means that they stopped harassing Trump's business. He can still do business in New York until they tell him otherwise. Here he is coming out uh, with a summary today with Alina Haba, his lawyer. Yesterday, what is your reaction to the governor's taking so stuff? Thank you very much, everybody, and uh, we appreciate you for being here. This is a witch hunt, the likes of which probably nobody has ever seen. We've put on a case that is uh, absolutely 100 percent. There's not a judge in the country that wouldn't have given us a total victory, but there's not a judge in the country that would have even taken this case. This is a witch hunt. A, a judge should not have taken this case. The case hadn't started. He knew nothing. And he ruled against me. The other thing is this. He valued Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, because that was good for her case, at a value of $18 million, when in fact it's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times that amount. This was all solely done by Letitia James and the judge for political reasons. Trump's exonerated. They should go after Letitia James for fraud. Yo, there we have it, guys. Expert witness coming out and saying that Letitia James case has no evidence, no merit. Oh, my goodness. What a way to burst her bubble, guys. I am blown away. This just goes to show you guys that she has really played with the court's time, played with the court's resources. She better really watch herself now because I feel like Trump is going to come at her with such a ferocity, guys, that it is going to be scary the way he is going to pursue this lady because she has blatantly, you know, interfered with the election process. She has not let this, he is stuck in court. Like he said, I could be in Iowa. I could be somewhere campaigning, but yeah, I'm stuck up here in this court with you guys. I, I, this is absolutely a charade case. This is one of the biggest charade cases I feel like where they were actually seeking to dismantle his businesses in New York. This blatant abuse of power is just sick to see. Um, they would go as far as to dismantle this man's businesses or try to, um, in order, you know, to show that he should not be trying to run for president. I feel like Letitia James's case was more so of a scare attack that they try to scare Trump because they know he's a businessman at the end of the day. So all of his businesses going away in New York would definitely, you know, kind of frighten me a bit if I was a businessman. But Trump stood strong. He knew he was not guilty of any of this frauding. He valued Mar-a-Lago at the appropriate price. He valued the property at what it had the potential to make not how much it was worth right now that's how that's how that works so there was no reason for them to say that he frauded the banks um and Letitia james built this case upon no evidence what we're finding out now Letitia james built this case on absolutely no foundation guys this this case is absolutely floating on top of no evidence at all no merit it's going to be a scary sight for her once trump is exonerated because he is going to come after not only her but then this biased judge it's going to be a problem for her and and judge ingram when he is exonerated because he is going to come at both of them for fraud um it sounds like he's definitely gonna come at Letitia james that's the first thing he said on his mind after he left out of that courtroom 
Letitia James has proved she's the biggest fraud, guys, in there. You guys seen it. It was all on camera, guys. I can't wait to sue this lady for fraud. Yo, definitely hop in the comment section, guys, and let me know how far do you guys think Trump is going to get with his lawsuit. Also, make sure you guys smash that like button, guys. It does not cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. Also, hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. Y'all catch you guys on the next one. We got